Hi kids! Today I wanted to do a video that I haven't done in a, quite a long time. But I got some new stuff I wanted to share. Anyways, this is my favorite things. I just, you know, we've been self-isolating and I bought a few things. I'm sure everybody has been doing the same thing. But before I start with the things that I bought, I want to talk about something I made. This was my latest crocheted blanket. I made this one for my mom, actually. She wanted something she could wear, um, just a small blanket she could wear, like in the living room when she's sitting and watching TV. So this is a squared blanket. It's probably like three and a half feet by three and a half feet. Yeah, maybe four. So that is my favorite thing that I made. I did the squares with the same colors I brought out as trim. So that's all I did. But it's one of my favorite things. And it's small and light, so with it being spring, she'll still get a lot of use out of it. My next favorite thing was something that I bought used off of Amazon, which I think is a great idea. And on in our neighborhood chat thing that we do, somebody had said that they want to do a puzzle exchange. And I thought that would be great because I just bought this used off of Amazon and I actually did it, the whole thing, by myself, with these hands. Yes, I did. It's the first time I ever did a puzzle. I was very proud of myself because that took a lot of patience. And I am not known for my patience. So, I was very excited. This is an interesting puzzle. I really like the concept of it. It's this guy, this artist guy, he takes pictures and then he just meshes the pictures all together. So you get these really cool pictures. I'm trying to show something without glare. Of like different things. This one has like the Taj Mahal and just, it's just beautiful. So I was really proud of myself for that. I'll insert a picture right here. That was a cool picture, wasn't it? Okay, next, Space Saver, which I hate to buy something if I already have something that does the same purpose, but this was my liquid lipstick holder and this was my regular lipstick holder. Talk about these. I don't like a lipstick holder where I put this up on my shelf up here and I could only see the front row. I couldn't see the other stuff. But for liquid lipsticks, I feel like I only need one row. I had one extra that went in the back, but it was a bright red, so I knew what it was. But I feel like I only need one row. And this, I really liked this one. I had some other ones. I hate when they have the bottoms that go up because some bullet lipsticks are a lot shorter than others. In fact, a few liquid lipsticks actually fit back here because they're not that tall. So I liked the concept of this, but it's a square. I, I kind of wish it was this. So I saw this on Amazon. Yes, liquid lipsticks tall lipsticks, medium sized lipsticks, short ones. Now when I saw it on Amazon, I thought it actually was only two rows and this row didn't exist, which would have been better, but I'll take it because this is the size of this. And so I get rid of that entire square. So I'm really happy about that. And next, next, 
my journey. I played Sims 1. I liked it. I liked it so much. I bought my first home computer, and I know everybody, well, not technically my first, but the first one that was mine, not my family's, Sims 2. Sims 2 came. That was the whole reason to buy it my very own personal computer. I loved that computer. I loved that game. I did all kinds of modifications on my game. You would not believe the crazy stuff I had in my game. Mm. I loved it. Got The Sims 3. Did not love it. Went back to playing my Sims 2. The only problem was my computer had died. So I bought a new computer to play my Sims 2. I hated that computer. Got rid of that computer. Put my Sims 2 on a new computer that I got. A Cyber Power PC. It didn't mesh. My Sims 2 did not mesh well with that computer. I had to buy a new computer and put my Sims 2 on. Eventually, that computer... It, the computer works well, but... My game kind of broke. I, I modified too much. It happens. So, instead of going and buying another computer and starting all over and all this stuff, I got The Sims 3. Again. Tried to play it. Hated it. Quit playing The Sims. Quit. Finally, I decided, you know what? We're far enough into The Sims 4, because I don't like starting, like, <sighs> I know this sounds really weird, but there are certain things I want in my game and I didn't want to start playing The Sims 4 because they didn't have all those things but University finally came out and I was like you know what this is my time and at that time they were selling the original like the base game for five dollars I bought it I was so addicted so fast and university had come out, and that's one of the things that I very much need in my game because I believe in higher education, and there are just certain things that a university can do that I need. I just need. I need toddlers. I needed young adult university. It just... Everybody complains about, oh, there's the babies suck. Well, the babies are only for a couple of days. And then they're toddlers, and toddlers are what's important. I don't care if the babies are just in a crib and you can't really do anything with them. What are you going to do with an infant anyways? So, anyways. Sims 4. Oh, I, I sunk so far into a hole. It, if you wonder what it is that I do when I'm not filming, I'm playing Sims. Simple as that. That's all I'm doing. So, Sims 4 has been amazing, and I have not bought one single pack for full price. They're always constantly on sale. So, loving it. Fully intend on buying a whole bunch of packs. I've probably got like half the pack. I don't know about half the packs. There's a lot of stuff packs. But half the other ones, probably more than half the other ones. I know definitely more than half the other ones. There's game packs and expansion packs. Yeah. I think I just got a package. Um, I know that had nothing to do with what I was talking about, but I saw the guy walking by and then he flipped back around, which means he must have went to my door because my door is the closest door. So, that's what I have been doing when I'm not filming. The other thing I've been doing, my stepper. I'll insert video of my stepper here. So this is the stepper. It has 
where you step on it, obviously. And it has like the hydraulics underneath. And I cannot adjust them. They are just... It's so hard to do. But it was really important for me to get one with handles because I have no balance. So getting one that I can really hold on to and really do well is really important. I really like the little counter thing on there. It counts your calories, it counts um, your count, and it counts your time. So it's really cool. And that's what I've been using. It's it's hard work. I'm enjoying it as much as one can enjoy exercise. Actually, to tell you the truth, I pretty much really do enjoy it because I love the fact that I am getting some exercise. I am in front of the TV while I'm doing it at home. That makes me happy. I'll tell you something about my stepper. It is way more difficult than I thought it would be. Oh, the legs are hurting, but you know what? It's amazing. I love it. And I have been fully working out as much as I possibly can. <laughs> I ride my bike, so I wanted to get something different than my bike. I didn't want, um, they have like the climbers. I didn't want that because I have problems with my arms. And I can't always exercise my arms. Of medical problems, you know, whatever. Anyways, um, so I wanted something like this. And just the holding onto the bars while I'm doing it, because I have no balance, because I have, I have medical problems. Anyways, um, a, a lot of times that's a workout. I have been um, doing that, and it's been hurting my arms a lot. Like, like not hurting, hurting, but like I've been working on that. You know, and all I'm doing is holding on to the bars. But I get that sometimes when I'm riding my bike as well, because I have to hold my arms out onto the um, the handle, you know. And just doing things like that works out my arms. So, anyways, that's what I have that I've been enjoying recently, and those are my favorite things. If you have any of your favorite things that you want to talk about, leave that in the comment. And hit like, and hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!